So to play the scale on a chanter, we start with low G. That means all four holes are covered on with our bottom hand, our right hand. Three holes are covered with our top hand, our left hand. And our thumb covers the hole at the back. This sounds G. Uh... If we hear a noise like this, uh... we're not blowing the chanter hard enough. If the chanter reed cuts out like this, uh... then we're blowing too hard. So low G. Uh... To make the next note up, low A, we lift our pinky from our right hand. Uh... So A, uh... G. Uh... Practice going from G to A and back a few times. Uh... To make the next note, B, we have to lift the bottom two fingers from the chanter. B. Uh... Uh... So practice going G A B B A G. Uh... the next note we've got C we have to lift off the middle two fingers from the bottom hand uh, so we're keeping this finger on the hole and the bottom finger on the hole and lifting only the middle two uh, so now we can practice going G to C and back down again uh, This one is a little bit more tricky because you're moving the two middle fingers. So make sure you practice this lots. And once you're comfortable with it, try and increase the speed. The next note is a D. For this one, we lift the top three fingers from the chanter on the bottom hand, keeping our pinky on the bottom hole. So from C to D, you're only moving your index finger of your right hand. C, D. So we can practice going from G up to D and back down again. When you're comfortable with that, you can begin to make the notes on the top hand, the left hand. After D comes E. For that one, we take our pinky off the bottom and we take the first finger of our left hand off the chanter. E. And again, you can practice the scale up to E and back down. Again, this is a bit more tricky because now you're moving both hands. So let's try again. And for each note, you want to make sure that the sound is clear so that your fingers have to move at the same time. next note is F. For this one, you lift the next finger off the chanter so that only your thumb and index finger of your left hand remain on the chanter. So let's try the scale. Uh... 
second last note is G, high G. For this one, only our thumb of our left hand stays on the chanter. So again, going up the scale. The final note is high A. For this one, we take our thumb off the back of the chanter and we only have the bottom finger of our left hand and the three top fingers of our right hand. So we'll try the scale. And that is the nine notes that we can play on the bagpipes.